Cristiano Ronaldo, certainly in the last World Cup for him, we think they've obviously still got a chance, Portugal. But he's talking about going to play in Saudi Arabia. I know you coached in Egypt. Do you think life in the Middle East would be good for him? How would they respond to it? Well, they, 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 they will love him. Actually, is, um, I know that some people are, you know, criticizing him because, you know, he's, he's after the money and things like that. But in the end, I'm, I'm not going to analyze the question of the money. I'm going to analyze that for the Arab world, for the, for the Muslim people around the world, having Cristiano Ronaldo in Saudi Arabia will be a, a, big, a big thing, a big thing. So in the end, it's going to bring a lot of things into the, into the Arab football, a lot of hope, a lot of you know, knowledge as well, a lot of uh, great things. I think it's a spark you know, for the Arab world. So I don't care about who is chasing. I'm just going into the positive thing that Cristiano Ronaldo is going to bring into that world, and I'm part of that world right now. Um, I, of course, I know Al Nasser, and he's a, he's, a big t he's a big team in Saudi, and I can tell you, Saudi Arabia will go crazy with, with Ronaldo. As soon as he lands in, in Riyadh, uh, the country is going to be crazy, the other world is going to be crazy, and well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm nobody to, to judge him at all. He's my friend. I play with him, I know how strong he is, um, and to be honest, the life is going to be very good for him, very calm, very peaceful, very good for the family as well, and in the end, he's going to still enjoy the Al Hilal Al Nasser, which is like a Real Madrid or Barcelona, it's a very big derby, so I think he's going to enjoy his football in, in Al Nasser, especially with the passion that I can see in Saudi. Uh, Lionel Messi, we've seen Neymar, we've seen Mbappe, we've seen others. What is the secret, from your point of view as a defender, to stop it? Oh, very complicated. I think this kind of plays, um, if you're going to go for a defensive 1v1, one one, it's going to be very complicated to stop You know this kind of plays. Mbappe, for, for different reasons. Mbappe, because he's very paceful and actually um, you know, powerful in the, you know, in the run. So it's going to be complicated to stop him if you give him space. Uh, Messi, because his ability is, you know, is out of standing, out of this world. And, um, and of course, you know, they are very, very, or Neymar is very skillful as well. Uh, uh, imagination, different things all the time. So for me, the most important thing as a defender is having the right system and the right support to make you strong. It means that there is always a cover, there was always a place where you can send him and somebody can stop him. Most of the times, it's not going to be your individual thing. It's going to be forcing him to go into the trap. Yeah? That's the best way to, to, you know, to stop this kind of place. So from, if you were England and you're trying to stop him back then, it's not just about Kyle Walker For sure. or Trent Alexander-Arnold. It's not one player, it's a system. Actually, actually Walker is, is a better defender than Arnold. Arnold is more offensive. But I'm, you know, for, for, you know, for sure, 100% sure that, the, that England will, will try to stop it in a different way, with the system, with the way of playing uh, a, def a defensive system where, you know, he's not going to receive the ball with the space to run. That's for sure. So for me, England is very important that uh, can control Mbappe, can control what happens, you know, in between the back four and the goalkeeper. That's very important. And, um, but anyway, you know, I think England they have their, their strengths as well. And it's going to be a very interesting game. I mean, it's one of the best games you can watch right now in the World Cup. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to watching this game. And yes, one thing is the plan to stop Mbappe. But at the same time, uh, England, they have, they have a lot of speed as well, you know, up front. So it's going to be a really great, great game of football. What do you make of Jude Bellingham? He's been wow. the breakout star for Bellingham is another beautiful player. I think you were talking about Mbappe, Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, Neymar. Let's say the, the stars that are coming, you know, they are still coming back. They're still in there, but they've been for a long time. Apart from Mbappe, which is a different story, you know, he's still young. It's, it's unbelievable. But, but I'm going to tell you, the, the players that I loved in this World Cup that with a lot of features, is, one is Bellingham for sure. And another one is Musiala. For me, those two players are the players that I'm, I'm enjoying right now so much. Gabi as well in Spain. Pedri is one of these players. But in terms of performance, for me, Musiala and Bellingham in this World Cup have been fantastic.
And of course, Luciana has gone home with Germany. Spain have now gone home, Gabby and Petri. What's the reaction been like back in Spain already, just 24 hours after that defeat? Well, you know, the, is this, I know this moment because I've been, I've been in there. I mean, I can tell you right now, like a supporter right now, but in the end, I'm an ex football player. And I was knocked out in, in 2006 in Germany, I was knocked out in 2004, in 2002. So in the end, I know what you feel as a player, and I know what you feel as a, as a, as a, as a manager as well. So um, is the, this kind of nights or this kind of uh, days where criticism is over, all over the place, um, where the typical people that are looking for these moments are out talking about something like, I said it, I knew it. I think um, Spain is a young team. I think Spain is a, in, a, in a quite of change of generation, you know? And the problem is that we are now comparing everything with 2010 and 2012. And I think we need to, to think about the future. We need to know how to, how to adapt our style of football into the modern football, you know? We are good in possession, we are good in control of the game, but in the end, football right now is about transition, yeah? So we need to be a little bit more efficient. We got young players, and I think our, our this squad is, is going to be a better squad in four years. I think I never, I never seen Spain like a favorite for this World Cup, and that's a reality. And maybe the, the thing is that we couldn't find solutions for, you know, for teams that defending really deep against us and defending our central area where we want to play. And that's one of our mistakes that we have to try to solve, you know, for the next World Cup with this with this squad. And then you mentioned.